The Xeraxian High Council was deep in deliberation when the report came through. Their planet, Exerion, was under siege. The shimmering calm of the council chamber was shattered by the urgency of the alert. The alien delegates, known for their serene and deliberate demeanor, now faced a crisis of unprecedented scale. Delegates exchanged uneasy glances as the holographic image of the invaders flickered on the central screen. It depicted humans, suited in bulky, crude armor, advancing with a ferocity that belied their somewhat awkward appearances. One delegate, who had always found human behavior perplexing, couldn't help but comment dryly. They don't just show up with guns. They come equipped with absurdly oversized weapons and a sense of humor that could only be described as irritating. Amidst the chaos, General Rock, the Xeraxian commander, took charge. His armor, a sleek and elegant design, seemed out of place against the backdrop of human machinery. Prepare the defenses, he commanded, his voice a mix of steely resolve and underlying frustration. We cannot afford to lose our stronghold. The humans had arrived with a singular purpose, to conquer Exerion. Their motives were clear. They sought dominance, and Exerion was their latest target. As the Xeraxians mobilized, they realized their advanced technology, which had once seemed so invincible, was now being tested to its limits by these aggressive invaders. On the ground, the humans were a whirlwind of activity. Commander Carter, a grizzled veteran known for his tactical prowess and unfiltered remarks, barked orders with a rapid-fire cadence. Team Alpha, secure the perimeter. We've got to push them back, or we'll be fighting in their living rooms. Despite their advanced weaponry and tactical superiority, the humans underestimated the Xeraxians' tenacity. The Xeraxian defenses were proving resilient, their energy shields holding against the initial human assault. Yet this did little to dampen the human spirits. They were undeterred, driven by a blend of ambition and an unshakable belief in their eventual victory. In the midst of the battle, General Rock observed the humans' unusual combat style. It was a mixture of brute force and unorthodox strategies. They wielded makeshift tools and improvised weaponry with a kind of reckless ingenuity. Rock shook his head bemused by their lack of discipline. If only they focused on efficiency, rather than theatrics, he muttered to his aide. The conflict raged on, each side exchanging blows in a frenetic dance of destruction. As the days passed, the Xeraxians fought valiantly to defend their stronghold, but the tide of the battle was turning. The human forces, driven by their relentless pursuit, began to gain the upper hand. The Xeraxians' resistance was formidable, but the humans were unstoppable. The siege continued unabated, with every day bringing fresh waves of human assault. General Rock, though a skilled tactician, found himself increasingly outmatched. His once proud stronghold now lay in ruins, the once impenetrable defenses crumbling under the weight of human aggression. In the midst of the chaos, a particularly intense skirmish unfolded. The Xeraxian defenders fought bravely, but their advanced weapons and armor were no match for the raw determination of the human troops. Commander Carter led his unit with a brutal efficiency, their tactics evolving as they faced unforeseen resistance. Rock, desperate to stem the tide, hatched a daring plan. We need to hit them where it hurts, he said to his second. In command. If we can outmaneuver them, perhaps we can turn the battle. The Xeraxians launched a counterattack, deploying their remaining forces in a last ditch effort to reclaim some of their lost ground. It was a bold move, one that took the humans by surprise. For a brief moment, the tide seemed to turn in favor of the Xeraxians. The battle grew chaotic as both sides clashed in a furious melee. Commander Carter, caught off guard by the sudden shift in the battle, realized that the Xeraxians were not as easily defeated as anticipated. He rallied his troops, pushing them to adapt and overcome. Don't let up, he shouted, his voice barely audible over the din of combat. Keep pushing forward. Despite the ferocity of the Xeraxian counterattack, the humans pressed on. 
They adapted their strategies, improvising as they went along. The battle became a grueling test of endurance and resolve. The Xeraxians fought with everything they had, but the humans' persistence began to wear them down. As night fell, the battlefield was a landscape of devastation. The once grand Xeraxian stronghold was now a smoldering wreck, its defenders exhausted and on the brink of collapse. The humans, though battered, continued their advance. With the stronghold in ruins and their forces depleted, the Xeraxians faced the reality of their situation. General Rock, standing amidst the wreckage of his people's last bastion, knew that the end was near. His eyes, though weary, remained resolute. Gathering his remaining troops, Rock addressed them with a voice filled with a mixture of hope and resignation. We may be outnumbered and outgunned, but we have one advantage, the element of surprise. We will make our last stand here. If we are to fall, let us do so with honor. The final confrontation was upon them. The humans, sensing their victory was near, pressed forward with renewed vigor. Commander Carter, leading the charge, was determined to secure the final victory. Yet, as they breached the last defenses, they encountered an unexpected obstacle. The Xeraxians had set up a series of improvised traps and barricades, their desperation fueling a final fierce resistance. The humans, momentarily taken aback, had to adapt once again. With quick thinking and sheer force, they managed to overcome the obstacles, but at a cost. The battle became a grueling test of endurance and ingenuity. As the clash reached its peak, Rock and Carter faced each other in a direct confrontation. The two leaders, embodiments of their respective forces, engaged in a brutal exchange. Rock fought with a mixture of desperation and defiance, while Carter wielded his makeshift weapon with a fierce determination. In the end, it was the human drive and adaptability that won the day. Though the Xeraxians fought valiantly, they were ultimately overwhelmed. The stronghold, now a symbol of their defeat, lay in ruins. The last remnants of the Xeraxian resistance were subdued, their fate sealed by the unyielding advance of the human forces. As the dust settled, Commander Carter surveyed the battlefield with a mixture of satisfaction and somber reflection. The victory was hard, earned, marked by both triumph and sacrifice. The Xeraxians, though defeated, had demonstrated a resilience and bravery that earned them a measure of respect from their conquerors. The humans, having achieved their objective, prepared to consolidate their hold on Exerion. The planet, once a bastion of Xeraxian strength, was now firmly under human control. As they surveyed the aftermath of the battle, it was clear that the conquest of Xerion had come at a heavy cost, one that would be remembered for generations to come. And as for the Xeraxian commander, his final moments were spent watching the remnants of his people being led away, a bittersweet recognition of their struggle. The human conquest, though, had been success.